is uh, doing another quick demo of the home accessibility system. So basically we're just gonna close or open and close this door uh, using the phone here. So we got our app here, we've got to start, doors, and then this is door number one. So we'll toggle it. And it knew it was closed, so that's why it opened in that direction. And then if I toggle it again. So here's a quick demo of the uh, project here. Uh, so we're going to use the phone up here. Um, see it is in focus. Yep. Okay. So we're going to go here. We're going to say start. Uh, go to doors. And then so this one right here is door three. So we're going to open it. So if I hit open door three, then see the door. And it opens all the way. And if I go back and I say I'm going to toggle door three again. Okay, here's a quick demo of another feature that's uh, partially complete, uh, but that would be easy to expand in the future if we wanted to. Um, so basically right here we got Raspberry Pi's right there, it's hooked up. It's a uh, blue blinking light, that's the Wi-Fi connection. And basically we're connected to it on my laptop here, that's connected over Wi-Fi to the Raspberry Pi. And uh, so what you're seeing here is the Raspberry Pi uh, user interface, we got a remote connection to it. Um, and in the center of the screen says hope controller user interface current authentication code. So basically the purpose of this is for people to be able to whitelist certain devices so that only only people that you trust can send commands to the hub and basically it shows you a, it's a little bit hard to read but a current authentication code and so say if I have a phone I want to be able to send messages to the hub I send the hub a command that says the current authentication code is uh, that 4C9063 or whatever and if that's correct then I can communicate with the hub and then you can see it changes every minute and yeah so the only thing that's left to do on this is to add a command to the hub that compares this authentication code with what the device sends it and to um, and to block communications from devices that have not uh, authenticated with the hub so that's all for that Okay, uh, here's another quick feature on the phone app, so get door status. This will tell you basically which doors are open and closed at any given time. So I'll say get door status. It's a little bit difficult to read right here, um, but it tells me that door number one is closed, and that's referring to this door right here, which is closed, it's not open all the way. And then we got uh, door two and four are, we'll see, two's open, four's open, uh, three is closed, and three is this door over here. Which... Doors two and four are not implemented, which is why they're showing up as open. 